This video is a tribute to Parkrun. Uh, this is the beginning of the Goulburn Parkrun at Marsden Weir uh, on the Wollandilly River. All of the local participants are used to seeing the weir in all sorts of conditions, like this when the water's raging over it, when it's covered in fog, when there's bright sunshine, uh, when there's hardly any water going across it, and occasionally, unfortunately, when the water going over it has also flooded the track and the park run has not proceeded. Everybody who goes to park run has uh, seen this moment. The wrists are cocked, the thumbs or the fingers are ready to push the start button. We're waiting for the 3, 2, go, three, two 1, go, and we're off on the 5 kilometre journey that is our Saturday morning park run. Everybody who goes to park run has felt this moment too. This is the finish line coming up and um, we're all glad to see the finish line. We've put our best efforts into the five kilometres, whether we're the first over the line or the last over the line. And we all look forward to seeing the finish line, the uh, recorder and the person who hands out the finish tokens. This is me finishing my 200th or close to the finish line of, the two, of my 200th park run. Uh, I remember doing my 100th park run in Goulburn. This is my uh, 200th park run also in Goulburn. Just behind me there you can see the Marsden Bridge over the Wollandilly River. Um, that's uh, why I've made this tribute to Park Run, to acknowledge some of the other people that make Park Run possible and the people who go to Park Run. So Park Run is about guys like this fella here. He's in the 80 to 85 age group, I think. I see him when I'm at the Windsor Precinct Park Run in Riverside in Tasmania. Uh, he turns up on a regular basis and either runs or volunteers. Always seems to enjoy the experience and looks like he's enjoying the experience and um, is one of the regulars at that park run event. Park run is about acknowledging people like this lovely woman who is kind enough to follow my running and often with her friend who you'll see in the next few slides uh, meets me just before the last but for about the last 50 meters and helps me run in and encourages me and takes a great interest in the run in my running. No matter the conditions, she always seems to have a smile on her face, whether she's starting the park run or finishing the park run, always seems to have joy in what she's doing. This is her friend who last week started the park run late, blitzed through the field and still managed to finish in I think fourth or fifth position and is frequently the first woman over the line in, in the last few months and also seems to have a smile on her face uh, and shows lots of pleasure and enjoyment in what she's doing. Park run is about guys like this fellow who recently celebrated his 250th park run. Uh, a fellow who was instrumental in getting park run off and going, up and running, pardon the pun, in Goulburn. And I'm told that uh, he used to go out and mow the parts of the course and uh, ran the course many times with several devices on to make sure that it was an accurate five kilometre run. And then there's this bloke who turns up week in, week out, dressed like this no matter what the conditions. I guess he figures he's going to get warm running. Seems to have a le an easy loping style of running that never seems to uh, be awkward or st a strain or a challenge for him. He just gets through the course and gets on with what he's got to do. There's this fellow that comes on a regular basis and runs down to park run runs the course and in the last few weeks has been the first fellow over the line each time and then turns around and runs home. I spoke to him one day and asked him why he did that and he said because he wanted to make sure he ran 10 kilometres every day. Um, well done to him. Park run is about women like this woman who uh, also seems to run down to park run, do the run and then run home. Uh, I haven't spoken to her about why she does that, but she seems to go in the same direction, so I assume it's because she wants to get in distance or she just enjoys running. She has a good strategy and often passes me in the last kilometre or so. I have uh, desperately tried to keep up with her a few times without success. Park run is made possible by people like this. This is a cold winter's day. It was about 5 degrees and a 33 kilometre an hour wind blowing for the duration of the event but all of these people turned up manned their stations including the turnaround point uh, they're there before we are and they're uh, there after we've all finished and to collect the flags and so on uh, also take care of the lost property uh, so without the volunteers there is no park run so thank you volunteer 
This woman turns up every week also and she either participates or volunteers, whether she's handing out the finish tokens or at the turnaround point or the tail walker. She's always there and she's always got an encouraging word for all of the people that go past her. Um, and that's one of the things that makes Parkrun the, the event that it did. Parkrun is about blokes like this bloke who told me last uh, Saturday that he'd been chasing me for 18 months. Uh, in a way, I was kind of chuffed that he'd been doing that. I was also happy for him that he had uh, beat me and beat me well and truly this week. He uh, got out to a good start and managed to keep ahead of me and I just couldn't catch him. And so congratulations and well done to him. He's put in a lot of effort and a lot of training and I was really happy for him. This is me running at the Wishart Park Run in uh, Queensland and some of my early days of doing Park Run. Um, struggling to keep up with the pack at that particular day but nevertheless enjoying the run. I've run that course quite a few times. It's always a good enjoy and enjoyable course to run. This is me running the old Bowral Park Run. It started off at the top of a grassy hill or slope and you ran down the slope then you took a right turn and ran along a concrete path that followed the river. I'm not sure what river it was. It might have been the Winter Caribou River. That uh, uh, course is now closed and they've gone to a, a different venue called the Southern Highlands Park Run. And this is me running the Winds of Precinct Park Run in Riverside in Launceston in Tasmania. Uh, it was a particularly cold day that day although the lady in front of me and the fellow behind me were both in shorts. I think I, well you can see I had a jacket and I think I might even had tracksuit pants on that day. It was certainly a cold day. Uh, but nevertheless I went out and ran. Parkrun is about uh, groups like this as well. Mothers and children um, getting out and just having a, a fun time of a Saturday morning for however long it takes them to do it. Um, they're setting their children up for a lifelong uh, good health, I think, physical health in terms of a habit that uh, form of exercise you can just get in and do by yourself, but also good for their mental health, good for their well-being. As family groups, sometimes there's a young one who just uh, needs a little bit of help and support to get along, while the other fellow here seems to be really keen and getting out, setting himself a good pace. At the end, we all make sure that we've checked in with the person scanning their finishing tokens. Uh, you have a barcode and you get that scanned and then your finish token is scanned and you get an email that tells you your time and your result and, you can, uh, and the table of everybody else's event for that day. A very important job that we're always grateful that there's someone there to do that. Park run tourism is a thing and I've been lucky enough to run park run courses in four states. This is Wishart Park Run in Queensland. Uh, it runs along the Bulimba Creek track. Um, and it's a very pleasant run, a very popular park run with hundreds of people turning up most Saturday mornings to take part. Minipi Park Run, or Minipi Lake Park Run as it's sometimes called, is not that far from Wishart. Uh, I've been there a couple of times just for difference. It's a slightly different course in that you have a one kilometre stretch and then you do two laps around the lake and a one kilometre home again to finish. Also a very popular park run. Winds of Precinct in uh, Riverside in Tasmania is one of three park runs in Launceston. I go to this one on a regular basis because it's just down the road from me. It's a two laps of an out and back uh, loop around along the um, edges of the western side of the Tamar River. Always a good friendly crowd there and always good competition. The Launceston Park Run in Launceston starts at uh, the back of the Utah Stadium and runs along the North Esk Levee for about a kilometre before entering Churchill Park and going around the Enchanted Forest and coming back along the one kilometre North Esk uh, levee. It's also a very popular park run with hundreds of people turning up to do it. Curl Curl Park Run where hundreds turn up on a Saturday morning at 7 o'clock to run is um, on the northern beaches and part of it runs along footpaths um, looking out towards the ocean, other parts through parkland, some made tracks and some grass. This is the Goulburn Park Run course that starts at Mars and Weary and is an out and back course 2 for 0.5 kilometres to the turnaround point following along the Wallandilly River and then turn around and come back. Always good to have the marshal at the turnaround point to have an encouraging word for everybody who passes. Pepper Tree Park Run is called because 
It's in Pepper Tree Park. Um, yes, there are lots of pepper trees there in Mattingly, uh, which is a subdivision or suburb of Bacchus Marsh in Victoria. And I've run this course twice. First time I went, there were only 27 runners, which I thought was great because the field wasn't too congested and it soon spread itself out. It runs along the Werribee River for a, about a kilometre and a half and you turn around and come back again. So it's two laps of an out and back course. Sometimes you start out with the jacket and soon revert to the singlet because you have warmed yourself up by running. Sometimes you put the jacket on because it's cold to, and gloves even at the start of the run. Those of, who are familiar with the Goulburn course will know we've just come up the small rise from under the Cookal Road Ridge where the geese and the ducks live. It's a similar spot on the same course on a different day. I must have started out in the singlet that day. This time I'm hidden back in the pack which is good but it's again just coming up the small rise from underneath the bridge to where the geese and the ducks live on the bank of the river. Always with a hat to keep the sun off in summertime. Um, absorb the sweat stop it running in my eyes in winter time and uh, for the time that's coming up short for spring to hopefully discourage the mag fry that's a little bit further down the track from deciding to swoop on me. The photographer always seems to be at this point and uh, I'm always lucky that they manage to capture me as I'm going past. This is part of the Pepper Tree Park or Pepper Tree Park Run in uh, Bacchus Marsh in Victoria. Uh, there's been some heavy rain around that time and part of the track was damaged and I'm not sure if they were able to run at that time or it had to be closed. This is also part of the Pepper Tree Park or Pepper Tree Park Run towards the finish line. Generally the briefing in uh, pre-match, pre-run, pre-event information is given with people standing around the, under this gazebo here. Same course, you can see parts of the course are well made and even though they're on gravel they're clearly defined paths and they're pretty, pretty uh, well maintained so easy to run on. This is further down the same course heading towards the uh, bottom turnaround point and here the track is pretty well maintained as well. Um, it's only the lower portions of it a bit further on towards the turnaround point where the water becomes a problem one of the early trial events for Goulburn Park Run. Uh, we call these couple of these, two or three of these bends leading up to the finish line, we call them the zipper. And finally, uh, another shot of bars and weed with not so much water pouring over it. And uh, a lone finisher just making their way around the, across the start line but up towards where the finish line will be.